How to treat canine coronavirus. In puppies, canine coronavirus, also called CCV, is the second most common viral cause of diarrhea, with parvovirus being the most common one. However, where parvovirus is often deadly, coronavirus is usually much milder and often self-limiting in adult dogs. Because puppies have weaker immune systems and lack the resilience of an adult to fight off infection, there is a greater risk of dehydration in a puppy which could endanger life. Two, learn how to treat the coronavirus so you can keep your dog healthy. Treating coronavirus. Take puppies to the vet. In puppies, the risk of complications from the coronavirus CCV is greater since they are more prone to dehydration. Any puppy with diarrhea that is off-color or who is vomiting should be checked by a vet. Likewise any puppy that has diarrhea lasting more than 24 hours should be seen by a vet because of the risk of dehydration. To check for dehydration, grasp the skin of the scruff and lift it up away from the shoulders. When you release the skin it should spring immediately back into place. If you can see the skin settle back down or it takes a second or more, then the puppy is dehydrated. If you are able to detect dehydration this way, then the dog may need intravenous fluids to support his circulation and protect organ function. Your puppy may also have the respiratory type of CCV, which presents with symptoms that look like a respiratory infection. Take your puppy to the vet if he has any respiratory symptoms. Treat dehydration in puppies at home. The most concerning type of CCV is the virus that presents with digestive symptoms. Because dogs with the coronavirus most often get diarrhea, dehydration is the most concerning result of a CCV infection. If you are concerned about dehydration but the puppy isn't clinically dehydrated, then make sure he is drinking. If he is reluctant to drink fluids, then gently syringe water into his mouth. Give a little bit at the time and often, but never squirt the fluid in quickly. Give the puppy a chance to swallow so that the fluid isn't accidentally inhaled into the lungs. If you have access to an electrolyte replacement fluid, such as lactate or diorolite, this will pass more easily across the dog's stomach wall than water and is better at preventing dehydration. Feed the puppy bland food. If your pet has had diarrhea connected to the canine coronavirus, you should feed him a bland diet that is easy on his stomach. Feed little and often, such as four to six small portions spread over the day. A prescription enteritis diet is better than chicken and rice since it contains vitamins and minerals that a growing puppy needs. Give the dog antibiotics only when there's an underlying condition. Though you may think your dog needs medicine to help him get better, your dog may not need it. Antibiotics are unlikely to make any difference since the infection is viral. However, if your puppy is sick, the vet may prescribe antibiotics to control any secondary infections he may have developed. For example, if your dog has the respiratory type of CCV, he may develop a respiratory infection that requires antibiotics. Manage coronavirus in adult dogs. Coronavirus cannot be treated directly because it is a virus and drugs are ineffective at killing viruses. In adult dogs, the infection is usually not dangerous and the diarrhea will go away of its own accord after 12 days or so. In adult dogs, you should manage the diarrhea by providing plenty of fresh drinking water so that the dog can replace lost fluids and doesn't become dehydrated. In addition, a bland diet such as chicken and rice, or a commercial prescription diet designed to soothe gastroenteritis, can speed up resolution of the stomach upset. Divide the daily food allowance into four servings, and space the four meals out over the day. <laughs>